Hey everyone, it's Lexi and today's video I'm going to be doing a spoiler free review of The Secret Keeper by Kate Morton and I have heard a lot of great things about Kate Morton in particular. I know my mom and my and her sisters have read a lot of her books and I've heard nothing but great things so I don't know why it took me so long to get into this uh, like to read more of her books but I'm super happy that I did last year I ended up reading the lake house which I loved and this is I think the book that she is most known for I want to say so the secret keeper kind of has a kind of dual storyline I want to say so we first get introduced to this book we get introduced to Laurel who is a 16 year old who lives in this small like country little farmhouse with her family and she has the perfect life so she's kind of playing in her their little treehouse that they have um, and she sees this man kind of walk um, along the path to her home and he kind of says some things to her mother who's coming out of the house and she kills him with a kind of knife there she stabs him and kills him and this kind of haunts Laurel for the rest of her life she doesn't really discuss much about it until it kind of comes comes up again she hasn't told any of her siblings about it like she hasn't spoken a word of this and it kind of comes to light again when Dorothy who is Laurel's mom is close to like she's close to her deathbed she's 90 and she's kind of regretting a lot of things that have happened and she comes across a picture of Vivian who may um, who Laurel thinks has connection to the man who died on their front step so she kind of investigates this story and like what happened to her mother and just like everything that happened and so we kind of the kind of the story kind of starts out with Laurel kind of uncovering it and then it flashes back to Dorothy um, when she's a kid and then we also get introduced to a couple more characters as well um, but overall this is probably the best book that I have read this year five out of five stars like it may be probably one of the best books I've ever read ever like I was so engrossed I read the last like 250 pages in one day like I just could not put it down it was amazing it was it had me I was able to kind of maybe guess some of the plot lines about a book, the book but the whole time I was basically guessing until the very end it was just very engripping I really like all the characters were so complex and there was very three-dimensional it was just amazing like I grew attached to a lot of the characters and just like the decisions that they make I think Vivian grew to be one of my favorite characters ever she is amazing her story is just very interesting and this book does a really good job of seamlessly weaving in between basically the past and present and she does such a good job. Her books, as I mentioned before when I was reading the other one, are not really told through characters talking it's basically through narration so it's just basically as you can see it's just paragraph after paragraph so it does take a while to read but it was just amazing like I said I read the last like 250 pages in one day because I was like I need to know what happened it was really good I think this is my favorite of hers that I've read so far I know I'm gonna make um was it the secret garden or the forgotten garden I, that's what it is the august book club pick because that one also has very good reviews but this one is by far my favorite that i've read out of hers it was just amazing i love how it ties into world war ii and it kind of showcased london during the blitz which i thought was really interesting to read about just kind of like what basically the women were doing from the front of, like in England and what, what was going on and what life was like during the Blitz which I thought was just really really neat to read about. I really enjoyed this book. It was just amazing. Like I said it's probably within my top three books ever up there with The Nightingale and Codename Verity. If you watch my channel for a while you'll know how much I love these books and I think this one might have topped it. I don't know. It was just amazing. I highly recommend you check this book out. It is a very intelligent book because it keeps you guessing, it keeps you on your toes, and the author just does an amazing job. This book was just phenomenal. It, I know this is a book that will be with me for the rest of my life. It was just amazing, and the author is just so good. This author is very good. I highly recommend you checking her other books out. But yeah, this is a really good book. If you like kind of mystery with like a little fiction and then historical fiction woven, in, woven into it, then this book is perfect for you. It was amazing. I highly recommend you check it out and it was just 
phenomenal I will just say that you need to, I don't want to spoil any of the details about it because there's so many twists and turns in this book but you just need to go pick it up I don't care what you do go to your bookstore go to Amazon get it on your Kindle but you need to read this book I think a lot of people on booktube like don't really talk about adult fiction it's mostly YA um, but I would highly recommend you check this book out it was just amazing I think a lot of people will really find it very gripping and as much as I did so I highly recommend that you check, pick this book up so you will not be disappointed I promise so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this review let me know in the comments below if you are interested in reading this book or if you have read it let me know what you thought of it so yeah don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and i will see you guys next time bye guys